book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 36. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechach Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. May Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechach Kudash, Brock Thumb, to use a Wa'akimwakwaf, you know your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best. Of your ability, given diligence to make your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord, and our Savior, our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Peshai, Ban Yahshua, and let's be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on how we must patiently endure. Then we will receive all the promises, man. All right? Endurance and perfection. And then look up the word endurance right fast through the spirit. Okay? And I pray it's something confident, you know, um, exhorting. All right, to the hopeful elect that believe on Yahweh Bashim Al Shah in these last days. So endurance, it literally means the fact or power of enduring an unpleasant or difficult process or situation without giving way. Tolerant, bearing. All right, it says um, toleration, fortitude. All right, sufferance, forbearance, patience, acceptance. All right, so these words are powerful, man. All right, we accept that this is our journey. We accept that this is our lot. All right, we accept that we have to go through unpleasant, you know, unpleasantries to get to the kingdom. Look at the precept in Acts 14 chapter. All right, let's get Acts. Let's see. Acts 14 verse 22, and it reads, confirming the souls of the disciples and the word disciple that's where we get the word discipline from all right so in this walk you got to be disciplined as well all right and uh what our lord yahweh shah said if you continue in my word right let me get that precept as a matter of fact right now i'm gonna go back to this all right this is the book of um john chapter 8 and verse 31 i'll start verse 30 as he spake these words many believed on him then said yahweh shai to those Jews which believed on him, right? If ye continue in my word, because it's easy to start something, all right? But it's hard to finish it, okay? You can start a race, a marathon, all right? But to get to the finish line, it's difficult. It's not going to be easy, all right? That's why there's many scriptures that go into that man building a house, all right? He ain't count the cost and he stops midway. He's going to be mocked and laughed at, man. All right, us coming to this faith and the truth, we made a vow to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai that we will endure to the light of end to make our call and election short. So we got to continue in the word. That's what Lord Yahweh Shai said in Revelation, the third chapter, that what? Uh, ye have kept, uh, I'll keep you from the hour of temptation. Look at the precept, man. I had to get these. It's all, you know, all praise Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It's the angels, man. All right. So we got to continue in the word, man. We're in, we're in the truth. We believe. Now we got to continue in it because guess what? It's going to be difficult. Okay. If it was easy, it would be no nothing. All right. To continue in it. It's easy. All right. Nothing in life that's, you know, easy to obtain has any value to it, man. All right. It has to be hard. Sought out for. You know, uh, um, you got to plow and work. All right. Then it makes it that much more valuable. Okay. So, John 8, verse 31. Then said Yahweh shout to those Jews which believed on him. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed? Okay? So if you want to be a disciple of Yahweh Shai, all right, basically what a member of the elect, you have to continue in his word. Okay? And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So this truth is what set us free, our minds. We're liberated in the mind, in the spirit. We understand these things. Look about the Acts 14 chapter. Alright, Acts 14 and verse 22. Right? And it reads. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. All right, it says, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so what? Through much tribulation, continue in His Word, and that's what I wanted to get as well. After this, Revelation, the third chapter, I almost forgot. All right, quick. 
Revelation 3 verse uh, 10 Because thou has kept the word of my patience Meaning what? They endured We endure the willing of that number Alright Endure unto the end We continue in his word To be his disciples indeed Alright We kept the word of, the, of his patience It says what? Allah Yahushua saying this I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation Which shall come upon all the world And the hour of temptation is coming very nigh Alright A time will what? The whole world be tested to See if they believe in the Mosai And be a line set in the sand, all right. You got the righteousness, you got wickedness, you got the most high Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Then on the other side, you're gonna have Satan. Who do you serve? Okay, that's our temptation because that's what he's so he's coming in that vibration of Satanism, all right, with his new world order and things of that nature. It says, We shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, try means to test one's faith. Verse 11 Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Right? You don't want no one to take your crown away, man. So you got to hold fast. All right? Endure. All right? I mean, well, we already got the crown. We got the victory. We got this truth. The kingdom of heaven what dwells within us. We've been called and blessed to, to, uh, and invited to that banquet, that marriage, man. And the only thing I do is endure. Pastor Racha is doing a lesson. Well, he did a lesson, you know, going to that. Enduring to the end. Okay? Still got to watch it through the spirit. I just seen the... Um, the title and that's spiritual i was meditating upon endurance i came across the scripture earlier and it you know hit my spirits through this lesson you know i had to find the time through the spirit man you know stuck at the plantation still got to work still got to pay bills and rent you know brothers go through all type of things in these last days man but we're, we're like unto stoics righteous stoics man all this for um the kingdom of heaven's sake for the elect's sake for yahweh bashim al shai and his name's sake man so what i had before this um i can't remember it's fine. Let's let's roll through the spirit, man. All right, right. Acts 14, chapter. Continue in. Uh, let, me, let me see something. Okay, kind. That's what I was doing. I was reading the definition of endurance. All right, acceptance. So we gotta accept, you know, that we must go through tribulation and trials to get to the kingdom of the Most High. All right. It says stamina. We need stamina. All right. The energy, the spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, to keep us going. All right. So we gotta pray for that. It says stay in power, persistence. All right, the determination. You gotta be determined. Okay, you gotta be determined. You gotta have. It says guts, grit, spunk. All right, you gotta have guts to endure. Okay, so determination. We're determined to make it out of here, man. All right. So from there, let's get the um back to Hebrews. None too long, straight to the point. Okay, I'm gonna roll through the spirit. Hebrews chapter ten. All right, and verse uh going all the way down. To verse the verse 35 it says cast not away therefore your confidence confidence mean what with faith all right with faith don't cast away your faith that you have in your out you, that you have in this truth that you have towards your out by it says, cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense of reward so brothers a reward is coming through all these sufferings and things we go through a reward is coming all right, the Apostle Kabar mentioned a while back in one of his lessons, what the hardest walk leads to the greatest destination. And this walk is, is hard, man. All right. It says, for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the Most High. And that's what we're doing right now. We're doing the will of the Father by pushing out these videos. The will of the Father is what? That we believe on the Son, Yahweh Shai. All right, here he said, this is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. We're servants of Yahweh Shai. We worship Yahweh Shai. We praise Yahweh Shai, as do the angels, man. Okay? You might receive the promise. So we want to receive the promises. What's some of those promises? Get the precept in the book of um, Romans, the ninth chapter. All right? Well, I get, matter of fact, that's good too, because I'll let you know who the promises are for. But let me see something right fast. All right? Bear with me. Let me get some more. <clears throat> All this is good, man. Be with me, Yaku. All praise y'all, Bashim Al Shai. All right, let me type this in. <clears throat> I just read this very fast. It says. Philippians 4 and 9, but my power shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. So all our needs, man, that he's gonna supply it to us. Okay? Those are part of the promises is him giving us his son Yahweh Shah. 
all right salvation deliverance man the kingdom of heaven the priesthood all right after the order malak tazadat no chesedet man okay the kingdom of heaven oh everlasting life let's get that that's one of the promises man all right all right let's get uh Right here. Yep. John 6 and verse uh, 40. And this is the will of him that sent me. This is the will of the Father, man. It says that everyone would see of the Son, which is Yahweh, and believe of him, who can believe on the elect, may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day, man. That's one of the promises, everlasting life, man. He promised uh, the, the, the land as well. The land of Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, uh, the, the teachings or the city of peace. He promised that to our forefather Abraham, Isaac, and those are the forefathers of promise, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. So to give Psalms 37 and verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. All right. So we've got to delight ourselves in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. He will give us all the desires of our hearts, man. All right. Let's endure. Let's give 2 Peter the first chapter. Okay. 2 Peter, the first chapter. We're gonna start at verse 1. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shammashiach, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of Yahweh and our Savior, Yahweh Shammashiach. Grace and peace be most part unto you through the knowledge of the Messiah Yahweh and of Yahweh Shah our Lord, according as his divine power have given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding and great and precious second whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust so we escape the corruption of this world man all right so we got to endure through all those you know our pain and sufferings man okay we got to patiently endure so we receive all the promises we, and the lord is what perfecting us with scripture what the scripture literally say with great labor have made them perfect we're being uh set to men in the furnace of adversity we have to go through this let's get that preset man let's, let's finish out though verse five beside this given all diligence add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge it says into knowledge temperance into temperance patience into patience godliness being perfected and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity which has brotherly love and if you and if these things be in you and, you, and abound that might they may they make you that shall neither be barren the real one from time to top second Peter 1 verse 8 for these things be in you and abound they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our lord yahweh shah mashiach okay so all praise y'all by shimel shah man brotherly kindness brotherly love patience temperance godliness diligence you gotta endure man Allah Yahweh Shah said, He that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. All right, what I want to give before that, Sirach 2, verse 5. Let's start at verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right, we're going to get tempted. We're going to go through things. Okay? It says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Right? It says, To make not haste in time of trouble, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Like my um, forefather, prophet Job, man. He went through pure hell but he was increased at his last end he got everything double that he lost man all right his, he, he never lost his integrity all right he never lost his faith his trust in yahweh he literally said though he slay me yet will i maintain my trust in him man all right it's the most to put us through these different trials tribulations all right it says for god is tried in the fire and acceptable men no 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 verse four whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully so rejoice take it cheerfully and be patient without change to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, all right? So that fire come upon you, affliction, whatever you may be going through, all right? And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, all right? Acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. We, we got to go to the furnace of adversity. We're being baptized, Matthew 3rd chapter, all right? Where the St. John the Baptist literally said that, man. That our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come, they're going to baptize us with the, with the Holy Spirit and with fire. That fire is what? Adversities and trials and afflictions, all right? Believe in him and he will help thee order the way of right and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Be patient, wait. Wait, we're going to get the promises, man. And go not aside lest you fall. You don't want to fall out. 
you start going aside trying to you know figure it out for yourself do your own thing the most i take it too long let me hurry through you know, you're gonna fall ye that fear the lord believe him and your reward shall not fail ye that fear the lord it says hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the lord was confounded you can't find that account or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him for the lord yahweh bahashem yahweh shai is full of compassion and mercy long suffering and very pitiful and forgive of sins and save in time of affliction man all praise to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai all right so he must endure let's go back to hebrews the 10th chapter all right Look at the Hebrews, the 10th chapter. I'm going to jump on down. Hebrews 10, verse 35 from the top. Cast not therefore your confidence, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Mosai, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Lord Yahweh shall. And the scripture say what? He's going to come. Let's read that in Malachi. Malachi 4, and verse 2. But unto you that fear my name, that's the elect, the willing of that number, if we endure and give, continue giving diligence. It says, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. You can come and heal us, man. Change our bodies. All right? We're going to be perfected, man. It says, and he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. There'll be no more death, no more pain, no more suffering. All right? Let's go back to Hebrews 10th chapter. All right? Jumping on down, it says, um, verse 38. Now the just, now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So, the just, Lord willing, we have that number. The elect, we gonna live by faith, man. We continue to walk by faith and not by sight. But those that draw back into the world, he said, his soul will have no pleasure in them. Verse thirty nine. But we are not of them, brothers. We are not of them. You have to have this faith and belief and confidence that hey, listen, we was called to get saved, man. All right, we 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 were built for this. No matter what place that we were built to endure through it and continue on pushing his word. We are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Man, that's that's us. Those that believe to the saving of the soul. We want to get saved, man. Salvation. Let's read that in the um NOT right quick, right? Hebrews 10, 36 in the NOT. That's what I saw earlier today. One of the brothers posted in the community section. It says, patient endurance is what you need now so that you will continue to do God's will then you will receive all that he has promised, man. We're going to receive all that the Most has promised us, man. All of it. Okay, let's endure, brothers. All right, we must endure. Let me um do this right here. All right? Get a few more. Then I'll be the lesson. Lord willing, brothers, will edify through the spirit and power of y'all by Shimon All right, let me... um Yeah, let's get James 1. All right? To get James 1. James chapter 1. We're going to start at verse 1. James, a servant of the Most High Yahweh and of the Lord Yahweh Shamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into that first temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience, but let patience have a perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire unto nothing. Let's jump down to verse 12. Bless the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Which the Lord had promised to them that love him. All right. So that's what we want. We want that crown of life with the most I promised us because he loves us, man. They got Romans, the fifth chapter. Romans 5 and um, verse 3. Let's, no, let's start up some. Let's start up some, right? Bear with me. Romans 5 and verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, by whom also we have access by faith unto this grace when we stand. And rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Even when we're going through hell, you know, and suffering things, man, we still gonna glorify Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, knowing that the tribulation work of patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of the Most High is shed, shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Amashak Yahweh shall die for the ungodly. All right. So we're going to endure, brothers. Let's keep having faith and patience in our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He got us. Okay. This is the last scripture you can get, man. Colossians 1 and 11. Strengthened with all might according to the glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. I'm going to end up with one more. Let's get Romans 8. All right. 
Because we got to remember this. In verse, uh, let's start at verse 18, straight to the point. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to com be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. So, brothers, let's endure, man. All right, endurance and perfection. We must patiently endure. Then we will receive all the promises, the kingdom of heaven, power, rulership, dominion, okay, the priesthood, everlasting life, and all these things, man. Just rest and peace on earth, man. All right, as it is in heaven, let the will of the Father be done. So with that, let's give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. With that, I'm saying, Shalom, my Baba Ball, Shalom, one.